All right, not much has changed in here. Looks like they're using the same board that the heater plugs into and controls the X13 motor. Same two-speed motor. And uh, the sensor is here. So basically, they're just bringing 24 volts in common down and bringing the 24 volts back up to your red that you're going to connect through your float switch and thermostat. Uh, all the other wires are the same for fan speeds, electric heat, and common. And then it looks like that blue wire comes over here to the X13 speed motor. So that's all they're doing is just uh, when that switch closes, just turns on the fan. All right, and here is the part number of that switch, Kaufman Engineering, and you can see the part number there. All right, we got it all back together, and we're gonna fire this thing up. Let's see what we got. Disconnects in. I believe it's on a Nest thermostat, so we'll probably have a delay. We'll see what these pressures look like. All right, we just fired up. It did change the angle of the access ports, so they're more on a 45 degree now, which is an improvement. come with red caps <clears throat> have not added any gas this is what it came with from the factory this is a five ton and we have 192 ounces looks like All right, so our target's going to be eight degrees subcooling. Uh, we've been running about 15 minutes now, so I'm going to just put a little bit of gas in there. This is 454B. Don't forget your adapter, left-hand thread, and uh, let's do it. Shouldn't take much, but you see our saturated temp and our suction, 40. I had about 51, 52 degree supply air. It is 73 to 71 in the house. So they have another unit on the other side of the house. It's kind of been keeping it cool. Just like 410, you're probably not gonna have to add much or you'll overshoot it. And we're already over there. I ain't adding no more. I do have the juggling probes hooked up inside, so we'll take a screenshot of that. All right, we are maintaining about eight and a half subcooling. Our superheat's 19.6. Suction saturated is 39. And we'll call it 106 over 258. So looks like those are the pressures we're gonna be operating with. All right, guys. That's a Ream 5-ton RA. 14AY60, straight cool uh, with the R54B. Hope that helps. Catch you in the next video.